Okay, we can do a puzzle now? Sure, why Okay, not? let's start off with a puzzle. A puzzle? Well, my latest puzzle. It's sort of like the ones of the Lady of the Tiger. Right. Uh, okay, you have three brothers. Mm -hmm. Named John, James, and William. Right. John and James always lie. They never tell the truth. John and James always lie. The two J's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. William always tells the truth. He never lies. Okay. Mm -hmm. The three happen to be identical triplets. <laughs> they look alike. You can't tell them apart by looking at them. One day, you meet one of the three brothers on the street. John, James, or William. John, James, or William. You want to find out if it's John because John owes you money. Right. You're allowed to ask him one question, only one question, answered by yes or no, and the question may not contain more than three words. <laughs> what question would you ask? Now, what were the conditions? Two of them always lie? Yeah, John and James always lie. William always tells the truth. And you want to find out the guy is speaking to is John, because John owes you money. Only one question you're allowed. Thank you. Huh? I think. Yeah. I'm speaking to John. You don't know. You're, you're trying to find out if you're speaking to John. But John and James always lie. Yeah. And William always tells the truth. Tells the truth. Is John truthful? Uh, that won't quite work. Because, Is that uh, close? That's fairly close. Does John lie? Uh, no, if, if James weren't in the picture, that would answer it. It's very that's good. That's right. That's so right. just John and William involved, is John truthful to actually do it? That would with do a, it, Yeah, with, with the two. three of them, with the two lies, it won't work quite so easily. Is William... The one question I have. Yeah. I don't, I don't know whether I'm talking... That's right, you're talking to one guy. It's either John, James, or William. And I have to find out who this guy is. No, you can't find out who he is. All you can oh. find is whether it's John or not. Ah! Ah! No, no. <laughs> I can only find out if it's John. Yeah, you can't... Are you John? All right, well, let's see. What are you, John? Let's try that. What would John answer to that? Yes. No, he would say no. He would say no. What would William say? William would say uh, no. Okay, so if you get a no answer, you won't know whether it's John or William. So it has to be a yes answer. So I have to get a question to get a yes answer? Not necessarily, no. Of course not. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what. All right, you know, John and William would both answer no to that, That's right? That's right, because they always lie. Yeah. Well, no, William tells the truth. He tells so the truth. Yeah. All right, now, what, what would Jack answer? What, what? Would, what would James answer to that question? James would say uh, no. No, James would say yes. James would say yes. <laughs> so James would answer differently from John and William. That's right, because he always lies. Lies. Now, can you... All right, by a little tiny change, you can make John answer differently from James and William. Instead of asking, are you John? Are you James? That's it. That's it. Are you James? Are you James? That's it. That's right. It's very funny to find out whether he's John or not. You don't ask, are you John? You ask, are you James? Because James would always lie. Yeah, yeah. See, James would answer uh, no to that. That's right. Uh, John would answer, are you James? He would answer yes. Right. And William, being truthful, would also answer no. So John and William and James would both answer no. John would answer yes. So the question So if you get a yes answer, you know it's John. If you get a no answer, you know it's not. That's right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> have you got one that's a little easier than that? All right, let's try. <laughs> let's try my politician puzzle. You have a convention of 100 politicians. Right. And uh, each politician is either honest or crooked. <laughs> yes, Ronnie. Yeah. Each one is either honest or crooked. Out of 100. Yeah. Now, they're not all alive. <laughs> I mean, uh, at least one is honest, at least one is crooked. They're not all the same. Okay. It's hard to believe, but it's true in this particular puzzle. Out of a hundred? Yeah. At least one is honest, at least one. They're not all crooked. I right. see. At least one is honest, at yeah. least one is crooked. Yeah, okay. Now, it's a, you've, a, a strange thing has been found out. If you take any two of those at random, any two of those politicians, at least one of the two is crooked. Mm-hmm. The question is, how many honest ones and how many crooked ones are there? Any two, at least one of them is... Crooked. Crooked. Yeah. When you do puzzles, you have to make assumptions, don't you? Yes. You have to assume. Oh, absolutely. 
You're given those conditions. I remember that, the hat thing. Any two, I remember the three hat thing. Yeah, you have sure. to make assumptions. Yeah, of course. The All assumption right. is that out of any two, at least one is crooked. That's the assumption. Okay. So if you bring two over, at, one of them is crooked. At least one. At least one is crooked. Maybe both. Mm -hmm. uh, out of a hundred, you would have, well, if you just took any two at random, yeah. and you took the other one and put him aside and brought another one, you'd have still have the same situation, right? Yeah, yeah. At least one That's right. is honest and one is crooked. No, I said at least one is crooked. At least one is crooked. I didn't say at least one is honest and at least one is crooked. That's impossible. <laughs> that really is impossible. You would have... You'd have one honest one. Right. 99 crooked. And you'd That's have 99 right. crooked? Good. You understand? Yeah. You see, the, the, the reason why is the statement, given any two, at least one is crooked. It's Doesn't the same thing as saying no two are honest. That's right. So and if you, no two are honest, at most one is honest. So with any two you bring out. Yeah. At, le yeah, at least, that's it. That's fascinating. You can, you can really bust your uh, brain <laughs> <laughs> with a book like this, but it is very stimulating. <laughs> I thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. Come back and much. see us. Raymond, thank you. Are you in? <laughs> No. That means you're crooked. <laughs> Remember the night we did the three hats? Yeah. You can you can really go crazy with these things, but they're fun. Remember the night we did the thing with the three hats? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three people and two of them were wearing... Uh, we went crazy and Tommy loused the whole thing up by saying, You're wearing a red hat. <laughs> what, so how do you know? Doc told me and blew the, blew the whole thing. Uh, we'll be back with the Mighty Carson Art Players right after this, folks.